All right, ribs in the oven might sound like blasphemy to you, but I'm here to tell you that it's only like 50% blasphemous. Here, I have a big old pack of spare ribs. Pull one out, throw it into a deep pan. Usually you wanna clean up your ribs, but I'm feeling extra lazy today. Plus I wanna prove that you don't have to do this. You want these to be meat side up. Season generously with salt, granulated garlic, smoked paprika for that smoky flavor you're not gonna get. A touch of chipotle powder, but be careful because this is spicy if you're gonna use it. A big hit of MSG. And then what we're gonna braise it in is a little different. So I'm gonna use some white vinegar, some sweet tea, which you can optionally use just black tea if you don't want the sugar. It'll still add a nice little flavor to it. And then just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Every one of these measurements will be written down below. Now you wanna cover this entire thing in some cling film as well as foil. The plastic will keep this steaming and braising, and it's what's gonna help to break it down. Place this into an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius for about two hours or until the meats fall apart tender. Kinda like this. It should just pull right off and bone should be falling out of it. Now, you can stop here if you want to, and they'll still be delicious, but I wanna take this to the next step. I have a grill that's ripping hot right now. I'm gonna throw these meat side down to get a nice sear on each side. It may be a little difficult to do this because the meat is falling apart tender, but if you have two pairs of tongs, it should be rather easy. Or if you have some oven gloves, you should be able to handle them well enough to get them on and off. I probably let these sear for about five minutes on each side, just to get a little color and to add some of that char flavor. This is really the key to making a very nice rack of ribs in the oven. I know it defeats the purpose of only doing the oven, but it is worth the extra step if you happen to have a grill but don't feel like you have to do this if you don't have a grill. All right, after about 10 minutes total, I pulled these off and look at that, they have some nice color. Bones still kind of fall right out. Some people go with double bones. I really like the single bone because it makes it a little bit easier to serve and eat. Rip the bone right out because it's still amazing every single time. Give it a bite. And yeah, it's really damn good ribs. Has a nice little crust on it, a little char from the grill, and it makes for a really easy dinner. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel.